Do this. Whenever... Pencils ah! down. Pencils down. That's ah! it. That's it. Eddie, that's it. There's okay. no it's no more bullshit. No fucking around. No fucking around. Mm. It's Ramble 334 time. Wow. Isn't that impressive. something? That's it very I I think I think damned impressive. Wow. Do, you, do you mind if I curse? No, damned impressive. You already did. Damned impressive. Damned impressive. I mean, damned. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who do you think you are? We are. We are. Damned impressive. <laughs> um, can I just say real quick, real quick, please? Um, let me yeah. let me get the. Uh, um, let me say I'm sorry to the rest of the NFL. Ty Hilton, baby. Dallas Cowboy, T.Y. Hilton. Hilton. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's the missing piece. That's the push. That's the push. <laughs> That's the push, baby. Has a right football there. in a year. It's all right. Think. Neither okay. is Odell Beckham, but I was just as excited. <laughs> Be fine. Odell Becker checked. might not play for another year, but that's okay. They brought him like, ooh, he can't move. Oh, this guy can't. No, this, this, guy can't. this guy can't move wow. at all. Okay. That's it. T.Y. Hilton. Mm, that's I, it. That's y, the missing piece. That's it. That's the piece, baby. That's, that's what they a, That's needed. the guy that put Andrew Luck over the top with for his Yes, Super he Bowl did. Run. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. Hey, they got more <laughs> weapons than Luck did. I'll tell you that right now. They got way more weapons than old uh, oh. <laughs> goofy Andrew Luck. <laughs> oh, here we are! Another damn day of rambling, Eddie. Isn't it that is. exciting? It is. It's happening. It's it's, it's uh, Cody not with us. That's yeah, it, but that's but that's only because we're bringing Elon in. Right. We're gonna have Elon's gonna jump in e- any little, minute now. Do a little for, ramble with us. Here's the here's the amazing thing is, I don't I don't know. And we we've worked some pretty nice sized venues in our time. Yeah, I, yeah. I the good. I don't think I'll ever have that many people boo me at once ever. No, <laughs> which is I don't think beautiful. I will. <laughs> in one sitting. But, have, if, but it was nice of the guy that brought him on stage to play mu- to play sound effects to try to drown out. To try to, I was very big, big, big on him, big on him. Let's here, we'll, we'll help. We'll do everything. You know, help we'll use every trick in the book. You don't want the billionaire to feel bad about. No, him. not that poor guy. Come on, come on. You know, oh. <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, Eddie, but you can you can email us. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ramble at the ramblepod dot com. We're on Twitter. Miraculous. It's at Podcast Ramble and the number one. And then Instagram. But maybe we'll be off Twitter. I don't know. That's not really doing much for us. So I don't know why we are, you know. <laughs> 200 followers on Twitter, maybe? Yeah. Instagram, I think, is more of our. That should be our bread and yeah. butter. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, that's podcast. Just at Podcast Ramble. That's it. And I think we made a sale a couple of days ago on our T Public page. We did? I got an email alert saying you made a sale. It that. was so whoever that was look at big cheers. <laughs> cheers. a toast to that. We're gonna be rolling in this fucking cash. Rolling. <laughs> this is it. And we thank you, whoever did whoever that. Who whom it. whomever that was. We want to thank you. Um do, I, do, do, do we go to the biggest news? I, I mean, I think you always go with the big stuff in case people get bored and tune out later on. They got to hear the big stuff. Get the big stuff out first. Are you sitting down? I am. I don't know about the other Ramblers, but I am. But you're sitting down. I'm seated. I'm seated. There's a new king of the hill of our positive text <laughs> reviews. We have a new king. Seahawks of- fan is gone <laughs> He's again? gonna is, is he going to have to create a third account? He wants to I don't know. Time. I don't know if he wants to three peat. He wants the three peat. He wants three-peat. that triple crown. Josh Snyder. Snides. Snides. Jerry Rocha, Eddie Pence, and the often elusive Cody Diafana are hilarious. If you want to laugh like you were carefree and sitting around with some of your best friends, this is a listen for you. Hmm. Movies, gaming, culture, and hilarity abound, and they have great interactions. With fans and listeners. Look at that. Thank you. Look at that. Snipes. Keep doing it Snipes. right, fellas. Thank you, Snipes. 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 So, a new king of the hill. What I mean, we've peaked. 
Yeah. We think. Is away. this it? Do we that's walk? Great. I think is this our I goodbye? We sign off for the year, I think. <laughs> that's it. That's it. We, we sign off. We, why Why should why waste your time, our time? It's, we've done well, it. Unless uh, Hill wants to create a third account. I, go I that mean, I don't. And, <laughs> it, okay. Do we, do we, what's the action? <laughs> do we call Vegas and see? Is Snyder still top of the hill come December 31st? Ooh. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, if we're talking, what, Brian Hill had almost a month. So and, if, and if the second reign as champion, his second reign. <laughs> if he wants to go for a third, I don't see why he waits until Whew. after the new year to do that. He just jumps no. on right now after hearing and this news. He, he would. A third he, account. And here's the thing about if Brian Hill creates a third account and <laughs> Do you realize where that puts him? Because Manning and Brady only took two different franchises to the top. Right. He right. takes a third. Third. Never been done. Never been done. He Never been if, done. If Brian Hill quarterbacks a third franchise to the top. If that is, uh, I mean. I mean, Hall of Fame worthy. Rambler Hall of Fame worthy. You would think. You would move. think for that. I mean, look, he's. we're not going to sell him short. He's probably already in. For the two time, I mean, because that was unprecedented. <laughs> that was unprecedented. But to then beat Brady and Manning and yeah. take three different franchises all the way to the top. That's all the way. I mean, all the way. I I mean, that's undisputed. First, that would be undisputed. But now, but, but then Snides could create. I mean, there's it. It's just so. Who knows? It, I. It's. But do you think Snyder will still be top of the hill come the thirty first? Yeah, we have. I, I think. I think what? with this news of a possible third account created by Brian Hill, I don't think Brian it changes Hill waits things. You don't think he waits first? I think he has found his loophole wow. to remain on top of the hill. In a little over two weeks, we're gonna know. Mm. We're gonna know. We'll see. We, we, and uh, you know, we'll, we, we'll we da- boy, will we ever? Will <laughs> we <laughs> fucking <laughs> ever <laughs> see shit? We'll fucking see. That's that's what we do here. Is we 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 get things done. It we fight for love, like the song at the end of Commando. Right. We fight for love. Dun, dun, somewhere, bump right. bump. Some and, and yeah. we're we're also once bitten, twice shy. We all oh, 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 oh. <laughs> once bitten, twice shy, babe. Um, I heard the most inappropriate joke ever about oh, that about that song. Oh, when oh, you know cool. what happened. Yes, we all know what happened. Someone said, I guess rock and roll does burn. Wow. Wow. I remember that. Wow. That was like two nights after. Oh, two nights after someone said, I guess rock and roll does. Did, did cold, not. So to speak. Dude, that, would, that would have taken even longer. And <laughs> it, yeah, that was. <laughs> geez. <laughs> man. I think the. Yeah. Jack Russell looked right before that. If you watch the clip, right when he starts singing, when the fire hit, he does not want to be there. You know what I mean? Like, he's got that, like, I got to do this shit again. Right. This is my life. This is my, yeah. Um, Because I don't, I mean, I know they didn't have as many hits as Poison, but. But they had a solid, like. Six they had a great months. white had a run. They, they had great like, white had they six were, months. They were great white hot for great. six months. <laughs> was Vanilla Ice hotter longer? I don't know. And I he think probably he had staying power, a little more staying power because he did get Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go like Ninja, he, Go. Did play that funky music, White Boy. Right, but Great White. <laughs> they had what was the summer of eighty nine or yeah. something like that. Yeah. they owned that summer. They owned them that and, summer. Them whoa, and the chair, I think, whoa. would turn back time. If I could reach the stars, I think those two songs da, da, dominated that summer. I, if I'm not mistaken. Can we talk about how great of a career Cher has? That if she had been doing that gig, Great White was doing. Yeah, she jumps off a cliff. You know what I mean? Like she, Cher hasn't done a gig like that in what fifty fucking years, maybe. I mean, if I, I mean, if that's that is, I mean, Great White was they were doing a triple run of rock. Of, of, they were doing the rock equivalent 
of a triple run. Now, for all the Ramblers that don't know what a triple run is. <laughs> It that is, is uh, like what Great White was doing, but for stand up. <laughs> it was that kind it's of a just game. doing a run of the shittiest bar shows for the Ever. least amount of money possible. F- f- you would get twelve bucks Off the one West night. Coast. Remember that? Like they would give you like twelve dollars Wednesday, three dollars and forty five cents on Thursday. Well, what they would do one hundred and fifty dollars on Friday. They would they would book you on a run, like a yeah. three, four, five show run, and yep. then you don't get your money until you get to that fifth show. That's when you get everything. To stop people from going, after doing the first, going, I'm out. This. I'm, I'm out. fuck this. I'm never doing this again. So they gave you, like, enough to get, like, a happy meal yeah. in between gigs. But not enough to get home if you want to go back. Not enough to escape. Oh, shit. Those That's were... a triple run. Whoo! They were rough. They were. I had a tire blow out in the middle of one. Oh, my God. Hit black eyes. Tire blew out. Spun out. Still made it to the gig. Had to on a donut. I had like another two hours to go, and then the next day I was able to get a tire. Oh, but from, that blows your profit margin. By it was to buy a a, tire. oh, it killed it. This was the days before merch too, oh. and uh, <laughs> I was. Fucking I shouldn't awful, even man. tell this story. <laughs> Six. All right, Eddie. If you you've been there, yeah. So I want you to explain to the Ramblers and James mm-hmm. for what it for the triple runs, what they were, right? How yeah. what what the equivalent this would have been, like if in like Manhattan or L.A. Okay, so one night after a triple okay. show, I think I'm in. God, it was somewhere in Idaho. I think. Ugh. Might have been Pocatello. <laughs> Might have been Twin Falls. It, no, it wasn't Twin Falls. No, I'm sorry. I take that back. This might have been one of the Wyoming, like middle of nowhere Wyoming ones. And oh. I was aggressively <laughs> hit on after the show. <laughs> she made it abundantly clear what would what was going to go down. I'm not. Look. <laughs> She also You're just had, a man. You're just she, a man. She also had a hunchback. You're just a man. She was a hunchback. She had a so I politely declined. Oh I just I know. I was I made up a girlfriend that I had that I had to go call. <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> but on a triple run, that's that's like Halle Berry coming eight. up to that's you. Like that, that, that's like an eight. Right. <laughs> On a triple run, that's an eight. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I couldn't. I was there's, there was. Mm, I, I couldn't do it. I, I got invited to a swinger party one time on the triple. On the triple. <laughs> I, did, I didn't go. I regret not going. Just the, the story. story. The story. I regret saying no for this because, look. Yeah. As far as you know, people, someone with that ailment. Yeah. She was very good looking. For you right. know, for. And depending on what position you're in, you don't see the hunchback. You don't even notice. You don't I even guess. notice, really. I I, just, I couldn't do it. I was like, you know, you know I, sorry. I I as much as I appreciate this. But that again, that w- that is like you said, that is. You're shooting big on yeah, a triple run. It's not bad. I mean, the swinger party, the, the couple wasn't a bad-looking couple. Right, sure. They were, you know, they were a triple seven. What would have happened had you gotten there, though, to the I think the numbers drop drastically. Oh, I think, yeah. I, <laughs> you get them. That's, that's one of those hands you want to get out early. You don't want to yeah. hang around. I'll tell you a story. One time I was doing a triple run in Deer Lodge, Montana. Which I I don't know if we have any ramblers. <laughs> Deer Lodge, Mom, it's a hotbed for ramblers. What if that's where they're all at? What if it was just everyone at that show Snide. just loved my Bots. stand up and they were like, you know what? Fuck we're it. There. We're just it's just we it, like we would sell out the local theater in Deer Lodge, Montana every you night. Three hundred dollars, three hundred bucks. <laughs> so it's a prison town. And my first joke bombed. I was like, did enough people break out that you guys just settled here? And they were and that offended. They kind of got annoyed. But then they were fine by the end of the show. And this woman came up uh, to the headliner. This God. 
ages ago. She comes yeah. up to the headliner and myself. I'm in my probably like I'm probably like 25, right? And she goes, "I want to tell y'all a story about Deer Lodge." And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> I I'm telling you, this is. She goes, "There's a little baby moose live up in the wood." And it come visit all everyone in in Deer Lodge, and, she, and he goes, but it loves me the most because <laughs> it stays at my house longest. Oh, okay. And she goes, I wonder. <laughs> and then she, she goes, the cutest little baby moose. It'll it, it puts a little baby moose head on my lap and let me paint its antlers colors. Oh. It'll eat cereal and apples out of my hand. And <laughs> I go, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> Then she goes, but then other night, I get drunk, and I forgot how cute it was. I just shot it. <laughs> We're like, what the, the fuck, fuck, is, fuck is, is going on? <laughs> that was like, like, what the fuck just happened? This story took a very dark turn. I got like, drunk. And, and forgot how I cute it was. forgot how cute it was. And I shot it. And she killed it. <laughs> the darkest twist ending I think I'd ever experienced in my life was that was that her twist ending. That was rough. <laughs> Nobody saw that. It we were just like Was she like Curly Bill and Tombstone and he was just <laughs> the, and the, the moose sheriff? was the sheriff. The sh- she was just shooting at the moon. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> Do I tell the? Have I told the the Twin Falls, Idaho Christmas Eve story from a triple run here? I don't remember. So now I don't. I I regret this very much, but um. Something happened, and I'd made it. I was trying to like do off the cuff stuff, right? Because right. okay. it was they just it was a Christmas Eve in Twin Falls, Idaho, and we're on stage. And the two owners of the club it was a short, fat guy and a tall, skinny guy. Okay, and they come up to the headliner and myself, like, You guys mind if we do a little puppet show before you boys get started? <laughs> like, i you the know, normal response to that is, Yes, we do mind, <laughs> yeah, we do mind. But they owned it. They were the guys paying us, so the five dollars for that night. So he wasn't so like, really asking. Yes, and then so they bring this puppet out, and the jizz they had to clean off of this thing <laughs> and the blood to get it presentable. <laughs> and the short fat guy was the voice of the puppet. No, the tall skinny guy was the voice of the puppet, and he was yeah. such a good ventriloquist that he he just held it over his face. <laughs> <laughs> And then the, the other guy, the short fat guy, he goes, "Hey, Skippy, I heard you had a visit from your ex-wife." And and then the puppet's like, "I did." And then he's like, "Oh, that's good." He's like, "No, that's bad because dabba dabba dabba." Oh, that is bad. No, that's good. It's like that oldest vaudeville, and it, it was just fifteen minutes of this shit. It was fucking terrible. Ugh. <laughs> and I get up, and um. I forgot, man, I I was making a joke about, yeah. like, dating. I forget. It was something about, like, I had a girl who liked Limp Biscuit or something. So, so, you know, so she's special needs. That was, like, the just I was making right. a joke about Limp Biscuit. So, and, dude, I lose them. Oh, like, yeah. I lose Limp Biscuit's the, huge there. Oh, that's what I thought. I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> better not make fun of Limp Biscuit. The room just goes. So I just drop that. Go on to other jokes, and it's fine. And then the headliner goes up and has this 10-minute bit about a special needs person getting executed in Texas and about how awful, like, the de- he's making a point about how insane the death penalty right. is, right? And it drops again, <laughs> the mood. And I was like, oh, this wasn't Limp Bizkit that, that offended him. <laughs> This goes deeper than Limp Bizkit. It goes way deeper. <laughs> and they're like, I'm going to use language that is not acceptable, so just we're going to do quotation marks over okay. this. 
there's a guy at the bar who was asleep the entire show. He was. Uh-huh. He looked like a white Carlos Santana. It's the only way I can describe him. That guy's at every Triple Run show. And he, right, he hears the headliner's bit and he goes, ah! he, he runs, he charges the stage, <laughs> grabs the mic out of his hand. I, I'm making none of this up. And he goes, my baby brother died as Christmas Eve. And he goes, my baby brother died yesterday. And my little daughter's special needs, except he didn't say special needs. He right. said he said the, the word the R, the R word. word. Yes. <laughs> Affectionately said the R word. Affectionately said the R word. And my baby daughter's special needs. I got no Merry fucking Christmas. I don't know why I'm laughing. I got no Merry fucking Christmas. It's a <laughs> country album. <laughs> <laughs> I got no fucking. I got no fucking Merry Christmas. Oh fuck! Imagine if fucking Luke Bryan sings that. My baby brother died yesterday. And my little girl. I got no Merry fucking. Christmas. I got no Merry fucking Christmas. That's a country song. <laughs> and so, it. I'm horrified. I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? Also, thank God, I'm nowhere near the stage, right? This is when security decides to act. Yeah, now. They don't stop him as he's charging the stage. The security guard runs up on stage. The guy is just out of it. He's wobbling. He grabs him by the head, takes out a mag light, and just boom, boom, (laughs) boom, just beats the fuck out of it. Jesus Christ. What's the comic? What's the headliner doing? He's just, <laughs> just standing there while this is going on. <laughs> and, they, they, and the crowd's like, fuck you, Curtis! They start heckling the guy! Get off the stage, Curtis, you fucking asshole! <laughs> You're ruining Christmas Eve, Curtis. You for all of us, you son of a bitch. You fucking ruined Christmas again, Curtis. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> throw his half unconscious bloody body out into the snow. And like, all right, the keep You're going, Christmas again. <laughs> and so the show finally ends. <laughs> And the headliner, are like, we, we have to get out of here. as soon, Like, how do we get out of here as soon as humanly possible? Oh. But everyone wanted to greet us. And so they're like, everyone there is like, we are so sorry for that gentleman. Curtis. And they're like, I have a special needs child at home. I was not offended. Like, it was everyone there. Does everyone here have a special needs child? They all had their, like, I had. And then the little short, chubby owner runs up and goes, hey, let me tell you something right now. That son of a bitch ain't never setting foot in this club again. (laughs) I was like, oh, that's good. No, that's bad. No, that didn't happen, but that would have been great. But when I go, he goes, that's some bitch. I swear to God, that's some bitch ain't never set foot in this club again. Besides, I got four mongoloids at home, and I thought you boys were a hoot. I'm not making that up. And then he doesn't end (laughs) there. It doesn't end there. Then he goes, I tell you, the youngest one, she's the best. I take her to karaoke night. I make her get up on stage and sing, and I videotape it. I'm not, I'm making none of this up. How are you not laughing in his face? <laughs> it was it was like the Beavis and Butthead when the teacher's like, we're going to be talking about penises and vaginas, and they're trying not to laugh. Like, we're just, they're just like, that's how I was. I'm just like, what? 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 I, oh. That was probably the hardest I've ever laughed up there when we got into the car after the gig. Oh. But that was... Twin Falls, Idaho. <laughs> Christmas Eve, nineteen ninety-eight, or whatever it was. Oh, Whew. my God! We have oh. emails from <laughs> the triple runs. Triple runs. Colin Bags. Hey Jerry, Eddie, Max, 
Possibly, okay. Cody, and my fellow Ramblers. Hope everyone is doing well, not getting overwhelmed by the chaos that is Christmas. And on that note, I wish everyone a fantastic holiday season. Hey, same to you, Colin. Thank you. Hey, Gemma yeah. from the Talking Codswell Gems, podcast. Max. European champion. European champion. Hey, Jerry, Eddie, the keeping us on our toes, Cody, and the Ramblers. Firstly, checking UK iTunes, I'm still number one. European champ. So Owen Edmonds has failed at this mission to knock oh. me off my throne. But if he does... I have plenty of other family phones to borrow to do many more reviews. Uh, so try it, Edmonds. LOL. The, the Brian Hill technique. There it is. The Hill move. The Hill move. How are you all doing this week, Jerry? I hope your phone hasn't cut out any inappropriate times again. Cut out at any more inappropriate. I know. Thank God. No, it hasn't. But I bet you saw and felt the smell of color of fear. Also, your goth up was incredible, especially the black lipstick on your teeth. LOL. Thank you. I can't wait for my work to close down for Christmas. I'm so tired and ready to have some well-deserved time off. But there we have it. Until then, the ramble gets me through three of the five days at least. Fuck Aww. yeah. Let's get to the answers. Thank you, Gems. Sean Williams, hey Jerry and Eddie, and somehow some glitch gave me an email from Ramble Corporate for the artist formerly known as Cody. Whoa. Cody, get your fucking ass back to work. You owe the Ramblers Goodwillow Hunting, and you need to quit fucking moping just because Herschel lost, and quit fucking Marjorie Taylor Greene. Any sane person knows that fucking or finger bangering Marjorie Taylor Greene is like masturbation without the payoff. Wow, look at that. Wow. You think, Sean, you don't think Eddie and I have tried to talk to him about this? Right. We've had plenty of closed-door meetings. Plenty. Okay, shots fired. Sorry I'm missubmitting the emails as I write this. Garmy member and Rambler Kelly Saylor had successful surgery. Thank God. Minus the colon, but also minus cancer, too. Thank you, Jerry and Eddie and the Ramblers for all the positive vibes and well wishes for. Of course. I didn't have anything for this week, but I did want to throw in what I could have submitted for the last ramble, he goes, I'm going to get you, sucker, for black exploitation. That was okay. a great one. Uh, Isaac Hayes opens with Shaft, closes with three theme from Beavis and Butthead to America, Encore, Chocolate, Salty Balls, Top 5 Horrible Wrestling Gimmicks, Techno Team 2000, The Body Donnas, Arachna Man, The Gobbledygooker, and Mantar. Ramble the fuck on, fuck the Cowboys, fuck Trump, fuck Kanye, fuck Jerry Jones, fuck whoever came up with the Philly Cheesesteak Pringles, and fuck right the hell off to cancer, racists, and worse. Dan Snyder. All right, there we go. Right. Thank that you, covers Sean. Everything. That covers it all. Anthony Flores. Ant Flores. 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 Jerry, Eddie, and probably not Cody. Mi gente. Hey, fellas, this email is coming in super late because quite the weekend drove up to Dallas to catch a Ring of Honor show and the Cowboys-Texans game. I can't remember much from the wrestling show because of the tequila, but I do remember yelling, we're less than a month from January 6th to Chris Jericho since he's a MAGA All Lives Matter guy. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, that's great. And now it's, uh, you know, I guess it's time for, well, it would have been time for the song. Yeah, it's a twenty-eight minute intro. We can't do that. We can't do that. So, if you can imagine the music, and if you yeah. know the words, hovering by my suitcase, trying to find a warm place to spend the night. Heavy rain falling. Seems I hear your voice calling. It's all right. Rainy night in Georgia. Rainy night in Georgia. Seems it's raining all over the world. I feel like it's raining all over the world. There we go. The great Brooke Benton. Mm. Rainy night in Georgia. Right there for all of yous. Bam. Ramble. Has now it officially begun? Ramble 3, 3, 4? I think is now this the at the 28, 29 minute mark almost. We've we begun. Finally begin the That's sample. how we do shit here. Uh. We just got sidetracked with the triple run. <laughs> <laughs> I got no merry fucking Christmas. So just remember this holiday season. I don't think anyone <laughs> has it worse than that. Guy. Curtis, poor and Curtis. Curtis ain't got no goddamn merry fucking Christmas. Gets triggered by a word, charges a stage, gets bludgeoned, he uses mauled, the same word to describe his own daughter, and then gets thrown out. <laughs> Who? Uh, <clears throat> it's time. For the hat Colin Mags Fleetwood Mac song Eddie this is tough Mags I couldn't yeah. pick a song so I chose the album rumors an absolute classic album with some of the band's best work gems 
I love Fleetwood Jim? Mac. So yet again, this is tricky. But one of my favorite songs by Fleetwood Mac is Albatross. It's a really beautiful instrumental. But in all honesty, we could put all their songs here. Joshua Snyder, hello, Ramble. Hope you all had a great week. Snyder, Josh, the new king of the hill, Eddie. Yeah. And the new champ got the strap. Hope you all had a great week and that the goths have not come for Jerry's soul. I think that's always in play now, sadly. <laughs> Hat dreams with many commercials, an epic one-wheel ride, and an ocean spray bottle. How can we not? Dreams is a great one. Yeah. The American dream, Dustin Jacobs, he goes Rhiannon. Owen Edmonds. O's, men's, muds, ends, muds. Hello, Jerry, Eddie, and Cody. What hat in an ironic move Mitt Fleetwood pulls, puts on an albatross hat, harking back to the origins of the Ooh. band and to the original guitarist and genius Peter Green. Now, Fleetwood Mac is a British. They started in England, and so far our two British ramblers have gone with albatross. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> they go with first days Fleet Mac. Black Magic Woman Fleetwood Mac. Damien Botriel. Hi, Ramblers. It's Damien Botriel on my last Bats. week of work before. Much needed break. Bots. I feel like Cody after spending an entire weekend with MTG. Completely spent. My my Hall of Fame hat goes to the out. It just goes the whole album again. Rumors. I'm sorry. Mags is also from England. And Mags just went rumors. So he went, he, Max just went all rumors. And you know what? Damien Bontrell's doing the same thing. Okay. Recorded a time when everyone in the band was having a relationship troubles with each other. It has gone on to become their best-selling album. It, I mean, I went with dreams. Thunder only happens when it's raining, Eddie. Players only love you when they're playing. What yeah. was yours? I, little Lies to me. Little lies, tell me sweet little lies, tell me lies, tell me lies. Oh, no, no, you can't disguise. Yeah, I went, you can't I'm a little disguise. Lies. It's great. I picked a really tough one for 335. What? We did worst. Now what wrestling gimmick goes into the Hall of Fame? Ooh. What is the best wrestling gimmick we've ever seen? I got to put some thought into it because just off the top of my head, it's Taker. That's mine. First thought was Taker, too. I'll put some more thought in. I'm going to put some more thought. I mean, off the top of my head, if you okay. separate gimmick from person, right? Like you would think what what gimmick would have put anyone over no matter, right? Right. Ultimate Warriors up there as yeah. just a gimmick. That's a great fucking but Then you gimmick. have the gimmick where it seems to be an extension of your personality, which like Macho Rick Man, Flair, Macho Rick Man, Flair, Rick Flair, which are Na great gimmicks that lasted 30 plus years. Would you call Ric Flair's gimmick Nature Boy, right? Because he kind of took it from Buddy Rogers, right? Nature yeah. Boy. Is that the became, gimmick? But more than Nature Boy, he became this, you know, he became I mean, Rick basically Flair. every modern day rap star be modeled themselves after, after what Ric, Ric Flair, Flair did. After Ric 70s, Flair's gimmick early in the 70s. 80s. It's tough, man. It's going to be so, a tough one. It's going to be a fucking. Whew, it's gonna be a tough one. It was, it, you know, when I met that that time I met DDP and Scott Hall. They were talking about, a little bit about like how great Taker was as a yeah. wrestler and a, and just a person. But they all and they're like, look, Vince, Vince handed him the golden throne with that. And, yeah. But you go, but to his credit, he took it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he took it. And there's it, been a lot of <clears throat> gimmicks handed to wrestlers that have, I mean, been awful gimmicks. Yeah. From Vince that they just fucked up, right? And there's and, been other ones that, and like Taker could have been a terrible gimmick that he just fucked up. He could, right? He could have, he could have ruined that. He could have, but, but he didn't. He made it fucking amazing. Yeah. So it's, I don't know. And then you know it, burn the brightest. That Stone Cold gimmick that turned the tide, man. Yeah, W that beat WCW was Stone Cold. That gimmick anti -hero. was the anti hero. That uh, it's it. Oh man. Top five, top, no, not top, wrestling, get which goes on the hat. Ramble, th ramble at the ramblepod.com. Eddie, it's already time to open, close, and encore. I don't mm. know if your vagina, if our vaginas are ready for this. I, Is yours? Not. I don't think so. Uh, Fleet, we're going to keep it with Fleetwood Mac for the late, great Christine McVie. We have Colin Mags. Maxies? Mags. Max. Max. And I like how a lot of our, 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 our UK ramblers chimed in on this one. Mm -hmm. they, it's their it's their home turf. They yeah, got to true. right. We weren't asking Van Halen no. open close encore. We were going great white. We were going great. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, Colin Mags, you open with dreams. You close with go your uh, go your own way. You encore with Eddie Pence's Hall of Famer. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. Tell me lies, Gemma from the oh, Talking Codswallop podcast. 
You open with seven wonders. You close with don't stop thinking about tomorrow. You encore with you can go your own way. Joshua Snyder. Snides. 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 You open with the chain. Okay. You close with you make love and fun. You encore go your own way. The American Dream, Dustin Jacobs. You open with Tusk. You close with Rihanna. Rihanna. You encore with Landslide. Owen Edmonds. Open, close, and encore. The band takes the stage and stands stock still, not moving for a full minute. Stevie Nicks, looking incredible, raises his finger to a mouth to quiet the crowd. You could hear a pin drop. John McVie starts. Dom. Do -do -dom, ba -da -ba -da -bom -bom. The bass riff from the chain and the crowd starts jizzing everywhere. To close, following a chaotic set, including Stevie Nicks reappearing back on stage with a little powder under her nose, <laughs> the band closed oh. the show with Go Your Own Way and Anthem for the Ages. For the encore, Stevie Nicks and Christine McVie take the stage. Christine sits at the piano and Stevie begins to sing an incredible melody of medley of Rhiannon and Dreams and Landslide. There isn't a dry eye in the house when the rest of the band takes the stage to bash out the chain. W look at that. Man, what a concert Owen Edmonds has come up with. By the way, is cocaine bad for you? Because Stevie Nicks is probably proving that it you can be just fine. Because she probably did more than more than anyone. You know, I think I think cocaine is a lot like everything else. Like a lot of people just fucking live on red meat their whole lives and don't have heart attacks. <laughs> right. You know, other people have one hamburger and they fucking got high blood pressure. It's true. So I think it just depends on your body. <laughs> oh man. But, oh, Anthony Flores. Sorry, I almost skipped Anthony. Ant, Ant, Flores, Rez, This open closed on court, sticking with Christine McVie. Out of respect, look at that. The lights go down, and then that killer bass comes on before the rest of the band takes the stage for You Make Love and Fun. They close with Hold Me. Great one. After the band bows and walks off, Miss McVie comes back out, sits at the piano, and starts playing part of songbird and the band slowly joins her on stage then she kicks into the encore don't stop Ooh, that's a show the bots damian botriel you open with dreams you close with tusk they encore with the chain mm. i went very different from a lot of these at least yeah. my my encore is a song nobody has had yet eddie okay. and it, it worries me but i open with go your own way okay I close with Rhiannon. They encore with Oh Well. Oh. The Peter Green. Can't help about the shape I'm in. I can't sing. I ain't pretty and my legs are thin. Bow. So that's Oh Well. What, what is yours, Eddie? Your, I open your... with Dreams. There it is. I go. I close with Go Your Own Way. Oh. And then I encore with Little Lies. Little tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. And uh, there we go. So next ramble, 335. Run. D M C. What do they open, close, and encore with? Bam. How about that? It's time to read books and play video games. Bring that vagina over here, Eddie. You know what we're doing? We're reading books and playing games. Oh, yeah. Gemma from the Talking Cods Hall of Podcast. Gems? Okay, I don't read or play games, but I have to ask when the Americans say pussy, is that your bum like it is in the UK, which translates. Wait, which. Is your bum? Oh, sorry. Is that your bum, or is it like the UK translation, which is a lady's front bottom? LOL, aka vagina. I laugh either way, but was always curious. Oh no, no, pussy, pussy is, is the same. Is the uh, pussy's front pussy no matter where you right. are? Pussy's pussy. always pussy. Yes, pussy is always pussy no matter. No, it's it. <laughs> pussy's pussy, ass is ass. There right. it is. But yes, it is. Uh, oh, we're talking. You take anything away from this podcast. It's that we call it pussy here. Pussy, too. pussy is ass is ass. And Steven Seagal is Punani. Punani. Me like the Punani and made me feel nice. <laughs> That's Steven Seagal's thing. <laughs> Steven Seagal goes Jamaican with it. <laughs> me want the Punani and then the feel nice. All right. Um, the American Dream, Dustin Jacobs. My, bo my body is what he's reading by Emily Rat Ratajowski. Rat, wait, Radichkowski, I think. Interesting point of view, the life of a model and the world she occupies being judged by everyone, including family, as well as using the male gaze to one's advantage and the ethics behind it, as well as being victim to it. The isolation of one's body and being a prisoner of it wasn't sure what to expect, but it wasn't a bad read. All right, look at that. Okay. Anthony Flores, 
This week, I'm still playing Far Cry 6. I tried an RPG named Disaster Report 4. You play a person trying to make it through the streets of Tokyo while a major earthquake is happening. Eventually, I scared a bunch of survivors into buying overpriced bandages from me. I include some of the dialogue options because, holy shit, they're wild. So here's some of the dialogue options you have. Okay. I offer my seat to the elderly lady. Okay. I realize I'm getting off soon and offer my seat. Okay. I look at the surroundings and offer my seat. And then... I curse the elderly lady before offering my seat. I curse at her. Another one. Follow emergency rules. Hold on. Oh, whoa, a strong earthquake. What do you do? Okay. This one is, do you follow emergency rules? Hold on to objects and duck. Confusedly copy what everyone else is doing and duck. Decide to act calm as usual despite embarrassment. Act unfazed and don't believe the emergency port report. Start humming to show that I'm not scared. Which one would you have picked, Eddie? Oh. Start I think I would have gone humming. Scared. That's yeah. me too. Yeah, I would have been too. humming. Crowd in the park. What should I do? I wonder should I go back? Maybe I should stay here. I ask people to join the conversation while mentioning the earthquake. I ask about the park. I scare people into buying bandages at a high price. I mock people about panicking and huddling together. Wow, man. <laughs> Watching him being like that, I can't help but think I feel, oh, this is a person who is weeping. I feel bad for him. I want him to do his best. I feel bad for him, but it is what it is. I pity him. I don't want to end up like him. He's pretty optimistic even in this disaster. I'm curious as to how he's going to handle his finances. It must be hard hiding a secret from his family. He's got a pretty cool vibe about him. He's nice. Wow, look at that. Oh. Must be hard hiding a secret from Jesus. Um, Damien Botriel, Return yes. of the King is finished. So I've just been catching up on all my comic books this week. There Very nice. So let's, this earthquake game, by the way, is called Disaster Report 4. FYI, if you okay. want to make these decisions and charge people money. I don't know if I do. Extra for bandages in the time of a horrible crises. That's the one for you. Reading and gaming right now, Eddie. I'm still playing through Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Went back into Elden Ring as well. Woo! Yeah. I uh, still playing through God of War Ragnarok, Xenoblade Chronicles Three. You reading or playing nice. anything right now? I'm still uh, knee deep in my mid season of Madden 23, where I've now oh, fired shit. two offensive coordinators and a defensive coordinator. <laughs> oh my god! Halfway What's into my record? first season. What's your record? Uh, eight and two. Why are you cleaning house? You're winning. I should be ten and zero. Oh. Wow. If you don't demand excellence. What do you, What else is going to happen? Right? You're like Jimmy Johnson cutting a field goal kicker after missing one. Like, I don't have time for this shit. Fuck out of here. I'm sending messages to people. It's about Man, sending are messages. Are you man. ever? God. Man. Uh, Colin Max, <laughs> top five. Here we go. It's called top five time, Eddie. We're already here. Oh. Max. 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 He goes, Albatross, Little Lies, Go Your Own Way, Dreams Don't Stop. That's all for me. Take care, everyone. Colin Max. Gemma. Gems. Again, this is bloody hard, but here it goes. Tusk, I love the drumming at the beginning. Don't say that you love me. Four, Little Lies. Number three, Don't Stop. Number two, The Chain. Number one, Go Your Own Way. Extras, because we need to go back to the top ten again. She, she's demanding a return to top ten. Wow. Well, she goes, Rhiannon, as long as you follow, and seven wonders. Lots of love always. Gems. Do, I mean, do we consider this going back I mean, to the top ten? We could take 10? It into consideration. We could, it's take, something to think about. Corporate. We could talk to them. They're here somewhere, my cats. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Joshua Snyder. Snides. Snides. Everywhere is number five. Number four, go your own way. Number three, never going back again. Bum, 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 bum. Been down one time. Number two, the chain. And number one, dreams. Jerry, I hope this round of chemo doesn't kick back too hard. Thank you, buddy. You're a warrior, and this is all you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. P.S. Seriously, no holiday list for the ramble? Question mark. I I mean Snides, this is very nice. beyond kind of you to nice. offer. I don't I can't think. I mean Andrea wants at large athletic leggings because she's tall. So. I mean maybe we'll, we'll talk to the Jizz Talk guys. Maybe they'll think of something. Maybe the Jizz Talk we'll guys will think of something. I feel bad. Just at, you know what I mean. I don't know. It's just shit. <laughs> but you're a prince. You're a damn prince. The American Dream, Dustin Jacobs, top five. He goes Gypsy, Tusk, Landslide, Dreams, and number one Rhiannon. Mm. Owen Edmonds, I kept my top five to when Christine McVie was with the band. If I could choose from the Peter Green split with Mac, it'd be totally different. Rhiannon, Rhiannon, sorry, Rhiannon, beautiful song about a Welsh witch. Number four, Landslide. Number three, Little Eyes, great song, wonderful hook. 
Number two, go your own way. Number one, the chain. If anyone chooses anything other than this song, is number one. Need your heads examined. Wow. The greatest bass line ever written or performed. Peace and love. Peace and love. Owen. Uh, Anthony Flores. My top five Fleetwood Mac continues to be the McVie love. At five, I have Little Lies off Tango in the Night, an underrated Mac album, and the last one with legit big hits. At four, I have I Think About Me off of Tusk. At three, it's another one-off, Tango of the Night. Ev- Tango of the Night's everywhere. Coming in at number two, it's my dad's favorite Mac song, Hold Me. And finally, at numero uno, I have What Else But You Make Love and Fun. Guys, before I go, I have to say this. Those motherfucking Cowboys are lucky that defense only allowed three points from the Texans. They escaped. Jeez, it's not even the playoffs, and I need to be talked off a ledge. See you guys, and fuck the Eagles. Let's pray for a sinkhole right under that stadium. Oh, man, ouch. <laughs> Damien, fuck the Eagles. I mean, I'm with you there. Damien, I'm, I'm a little – it, I don't know what to – do I be excited that they were able to pull off the longest game-winning drive in 40 years with 98, or am I upset that that's what they needed to beat the Houston Texans? I don't know. I don't know. I, it's tough. I'm, I'm just happy they got the win. Can I, it's just – it was the ugliest win I've probably ever seen considering this, what was at stake and who it was against and where both records were. But fuck it. Take the win. Jeez. It's rough, though. Mm. Damian Botriel, Bots. You can go your own ways, number five. Number four, Little Lies. Number three, Dreams. Number two, Tusk. Number one, The Chain. I'm probably listening to this while on a flight interstate for my grandmother's 100th birthday. Wow. Hopefully I'm not getting weird looks from the other passengers for laughing so much. Hey, well, <laughs> just don't play the triple run story. <laughs> Keep the headphones on for that one. <laughs> Cheers to you. Get next. Cheers. See you next week, gang. Cheers, Damian Patriel. Thank you, buddy. Hope you have a great flight. Hope your grandma has an awesome 100th. That's fucking Ooh. great. Yeah. Man, <sighs> number of top five fleet. This is tough, Eddie. This is a tough mm. one. My number five was, I want to be with you everywhere. What was your number five? Gold Dust Woman. That's a great one. That's a great one. My number five. Take your silver spoon, dig your grave. What did she make you cry? (laughs) My number four is, oh, well, what I had an encore with. Can't help about the shape I'm in. What's your number four? Dreams. Dreams is a great one. My number three, The Chain. Uh, That's my number three. Look at that! (laughs) My number two, don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Another Christine McVie classic. What's your number two? Go your own way. Go your own way. And my number one, what else could it be for me? But I had to go dreams. Uh, Eddie, your number one? Little lies. Little lies. What a fucking list. Next, Ramble. Ramble 335. Yeah. We are going to be what wrestling gimmick goes into the Hall of Fame. Right. What would Run DMC open, close, and encore with? And okay. top five Christmas movie villains. Ooh. Huh? Top five right. Christmas okay. movie villains. All right. Of course, like Undertaker, my instant thought is how is Hans Gruber not number one? But then you could you have the Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie argument. So I yes. you know, there's that. There's that. Yes. yes. But just putting that out there. Top five right. Christmas movies. I mean, Jack Frost from the Santa Claus 3, played by Martin Short. Pretty a, evil. Pretty pretty evil. Go back and rewatch that. Oogie Boogie, man. Oogie Boogie. Ooh. ooh. Jack Frost from Santa Claus Jack 3. Jack Frost from Santa Claus. Th- take ooh. a gander. <laughs> what he's willing to do. Does Brian Doyle Murray in Christmas Vacation count as the... Uh, yeah. The the boss who won't give the bonus or the squirrel the squirrel there's a lot there from it's Christmas there, Vacation the, the squirrel was a big villain the so major much kid, the neighbors in Christmas Vacation the neighbors the Julia neighbors. Louise Dreyfus and Christopher Guest the house brother itself. They, the house itself the house itself I mean who there's a lot going on here there's a lot there's a lot to pick from so there we go get them in we love you guys ramble at the ramblepod.com remember subscribe five star rating positive text review get those in baby we love you all stay safe we will see you friday for a ramble radio and hopefully we'll see you next week if the chemo hasn't fucked me up too bad you know where to find us find us love us we'll see you next time everybody Bye. bye